In this video, I will consider one numerical on star delta transformation. Determine the resistance between the terminals X and Y using star delta transformation in the network shown below. This is the given network. We need to calculate the equivalent resistance between terminal X which is this one and terminal Y which is this one. So here in this circuit we can observe that neither any of the registers are in series nor in parallel. So here we must apply star delta transformation. Here we can observe that register 8 ohm, 6 ohm and 4 ohm are in delta fashion whereas register 4, 6 and 10 are in star fashion. Either we can convert 4, 6, 10 which is in star into delta or 8, 4, 6 which is in delta into star. I will convert 4, 8, 4, 6 which is in delta into star. So here I will just draw so that you can understand better. This is 8 ohm and here it is like 4 ohm and this is 6 ohm. It is in this fashion. So this, this node is nothing but this node. This node is nothing but this one and this node is nothing but this one. So in the equivalent star connection looks like this. Here there will be one register. Here there will be one register and here there will be one register. I will call this as R1, this as R2 and this as R3. So now to convert delta into star the formula is R1 value will be equal to product of adjacent registers divided by sum of register that is adjacent to R1 is 8 and 4 that is 8 into 4 divided by 8 plus 4 plus 6. I can simplify this as 32 divided by 18. So R1 is 32 by 18. Simplifying this so it gives 1.778. Similarly R2 equal to product of these two that is 8 into 6 divided by here denominator will be always same that is 18 that is we have 48 by 18. So it gives 2.667. Similarly R3 will be R3 is equal to product of 4 and 6 which are adjacent. 4 into 6 divided by 18 that is 24 by 18. So it gives 1.333 ohm. All values are in ohm. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit for this. So this is my R1. This is my R2. And this is R3 that is R1. R2 and this is R3. So here 10 ohm is connected. Let me connect 10 ohm. This is 10 ohm. This terminal is connected to Y and in between these two there is a 2 ohm register. That is between this and this there is a 2 ohm register. This is 2 ohm and here we have M terminal M node. This is nothing but M. In series width there is 3 ohm register. So this is 3 ohm register which is connected to X and between this and this there is 4 ohm register. This is 4 ohm register. So value of R1 is 1.778, 1.778, R2 is 2.667, and R3 is 1.333, 1.333. So now I will try to simplify this further. Here we can observe that these two registers are in series. These two registers are in series. Let me draw the equivalent circuit. So this and this are in series. So replacing these two registers, I can write 3 plus 1.778. That is 4.778. Let me draw the circuit. This is 4.778. And here we have 2.667. This is 2.667. This terminal is connected to Y. This is Y. And here these two registers are in series. 10 plus 1.333. That is 11.333. Let me draw the register. Its value is 
three 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 and between this and this there is a two ohm register here this is two ohm register all values are in ohm and here we have four ohm register that is it is connected to x terminal and here we have and here we have four ohm register so now to simplify this again we have to apply star data transformation because here also neither any registers are in series nor in parallel so here this this register this register and this register are in star fashion we need to convert them into delta the equivalent delta circuit will come like this here there will be one register and we'll get one register here and we'll get one register here let me call this as r1 this as r2 and this as r3 so here r1 will be equal to let me simplify that r1 is equal to so here 4.6778 into this this register into this register plus this register into this register divided by 11.333 that is r1 is equal to 4.778 into 2.667 plus this and this that is 2.667 into 11.333 plus 11.333 into 4.778 11.333 into 4.778 divided by R1. Its opposite resistor is 11.333. That will come out denominator 11.333. Let me simplify this. R1 is equal. So here 4.778 into 2.667 plus 2.667 into 11.333 plus 11.333 into 4.778 so it gives 97.117 on denominator 97.117 divided by we have 11.33 so divided by we have 11.33 0.333 so it gives 8.56 8.56 so similarly let me calculate r2 so here r2 will be equal to here numerator value will be same that is 97.117 divided by so here it is r2 opposite register of r2 is 2.667 that will come on denominator let me simplify this so we have 97.117 divided by 2.667 that is 36.414 36.414 ohm and let me calculate r3 now r3 will be equal to numerator is same 97.117 divided by so here we have r3 opposite resistor is 4.778 that will come on denominator let me see 97.117 divided by 4.778 so it gives 20.325 20.325 ohm now let me draw the equivalent circuit so here this is r1 so this is R1 which its value is 8.56 and here we have R2 this is R2 and here we have R3 so this is R2 its value is 36.414 and R3 is 20.325 so this terminal is connected to y so this terminal is connected to x so parallel to r2 there is four ohm register so here we have 
one four ohm resistor this is four ohm and here we have two ohm parallel to this that is here we have two ohm so this circuit can be further simplified here these two here these two registers these two registers are in parallel these two registers are in parallel let me find the equivalent value that is r2 and this these two are in parallel that is 36.114 is 414 414 is parallel with 4 so its value will be 36.414 into 4 divided by this plus this that is 36.414 plus 4 it will be equal to so here it is 36.414 into 4 divided by we have 36.414 plus 4 means 40.414 40.414 so it used 3.60 3.6 so here these two registers are in parallel so i can find equivalent value 20 point 3 to 5 parallel with 2 that is 20.325 into 2 divided by 20.325 plus 2 that is it is 20.325 into 2 divided by we have 22.325 so it gives 1.820 1.820 now let me draw the equivalent circuit so here we have 8.56 this is 8.56 this terminal is connected to x this terminal is connected to y here between these two it these are parallel its value is 3.60 so here we have 3.60 these two are in parallel its value is 1.820 1.820 so these two will be connected like this so from this circuit we can observe that these two registers are in series so this can be further simplify as this is 8.56 and these two are in series so i can replace this with single register that is 3.60 plus 1.820 so i can write 3.60 plus 1.820 so it gives 5.42 that is 5.42 now r equivalence between x and y will be equal to these two are in parallel that is 8.56 into 5.42 divided by 8.56 plus 5.42 this gives let me so we have 8.56 into 5.42 divided by we have 8.56 8.56 plus 5.42 it gives the result 3.31 that is 3.31 so therefore the equivalent resistance between terminal x and y is 3.31 ohm thank you for watching